habit of falling behind in games and you know we were able to get away with it for for a long stretch there but um you know the last couple it's come back to bite us and it's something that we need to correct quickly do you have to correct it maybe in a, in a different way because it, it has been a theme like you've said well, it's just on everybody in this room um you know whatever it is the preparation uh, um it's just it's not there from the from the drop and you know even games where we are you know, energy-wise, they're good. We're we're making mistakes that are in the back of the back of the net, and um, you know it's hard to chase games. And you know, just it was a little flat um, all around today. Is it more of a focus thing? Is it an execution thing? How do you explain that? The starts, or just the game in general today? The starts. Um, I can't. You know, I can't speak for everybody. I know that. Um, you know, for me, I'm going to look in the mirror and, and find out what I've been doing, and and change some things up and see if I can find something that works a little bit better to have a better start. Um, whether it's just finding ways to get energized before a game, the, you know, what kind of warm-up you do. Um, you know, each guy's got to take it upon themselves to find what works for them and and uh, be ready from the get-go. Um, you know, I like to, you like to think you're preparing the right way, but um, you can always find ways to be better and, um, and I'll do that and I, I think everybody else in this room will as well. Am I wrong to say that that's the type of thing that's, that's Frustrating, but also sort of hard to hard to figure out because obviously you guys, you, know, you guys know you need to be on from you know, from second one, and it's just not happening. So it's like figuring out why. It just sounds like that's got to be tough. Yeah, like I said, I, I don't have uh, an exact answer. It's not an exact science. Otherwise, we'd have fixed it by now. But uh, you know, in my opinion, it's if each guy takes it on themselves to be a little bit better early on and a little more jump, a little more whether you got to be. You know, throwing hits a little earlier into the game, or find a way to get your body into it. Um, you know, every guy's got to take it upon themselves to find a way to, to get engaged in the game quicker and and not have to uh, try to fight back into games. Did you feel like with Dustin coming in or with AJ Scrap that you guys got a bit of boost of energy in that second, or no? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously Greerzy. It's a big, big scrap for him to step up, fight a fight a tough guy for us, and um, you know, put some life in the building when we need it and into our team. And um, you know, we got the one goal, and and then unfortunately just. Uh, like I said, we just dug too big of a hole, and um, you know, obviously, it's never a good sign when you're when you're swapping your goalies out, and uh, it's completely on us. You know, Vladdy was left out to dry early in the game, and um, you know, we sh we shouldn't have seen Wolfie in this game. Um, but with that said, obviously, uh, you know, he came in and gave us a little bit of life and a little jump, and you know, we just weren't able to sustain it. What did you make of the welcome that the crowd gave him? I mean, he's a very popular guy. You know, he's only played two games before this. Yeah, well, like I said, it's um, you don't want to put a guy in that situation. You don't want to make a goalie come in cold as a backup uh, in a game. It's not. That I'm sure he prepared the right way. You know, he's he's a pro and he's a really good goaltender. But uh, you know, really, it's on us as as uh, forwards and defensemen uh, never to put our goalies in that situation. And unfortunately, that's that's how it was tonight.